Hello girls and welcome to Tween Shane. I hope you're doing really really good in school, with your friends, at home, and with life. Life is good. Today I thought we'd talk about sometimes when things are not so good. You know, sometimes things happen and just like this little toy, things start to knock around a little bit and you bump, hit bump with each other and things start to go a little bit wrong. Sometimes words that people say kind of make us feel sad. So, just like these things come together and bump heads sometimes sometimes words are like that that people say about us so uh, today I thought we would talk about words that hurt and how to deal with words that hurt when they come our way so the first thing that you can do is confront that person or persons who have said hard or awful words to you or about you. If you decide to confront the person, make sure you think about what you're going to say to them and how you're going to say it. If you confront them, are you going to do it in an, with an angry tone? Or are you going to do it in a playful way, serious way? So think about how you're going to approach them if you decide to confront that person about those angry words that they just said to you. Then you can determine whether or not they really meant to hurt your feelings see if maybe they were just having a bad day maybe they had an argument with their parents last night or something or maybe they were just saying it just to be funny and if you decide to confront that person make sure you look them directly into the eyes to let them know that you are serious and that they did hurt your feelings or that you didn't like what they had to say that was hurtful. The second way that you can deal with the problem of hurtful words is to tell someone. You can tell your friends or your parents or perhaps a teacher, counselor, coach at school, someone that you trust, that you like, and get in a private place and just run it by them tell them you know what she said that my feet were so big and she started to call me duck feet or he said that my hair was stringy and that really kind of hurt me that hurt me to the core if you tell your parents your mom or your father if your father's at work you want to tell your mom about it, ask them about what you should do about those hurtful words that were said to you. Should you just take it all in or not make a really big deal out of it? Follow your mom's advice. Number three, the third way you can deal with those hurtful words that sometimes are thrown at us is maybe to just simply ignore it. You can just put it out of your mind. You say, well, maybe they don't even know what they're saying. They're just like, yak, 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 yakking. Pet no mind. So you may not want it to distract you. You're going to stay focused on what you're going to have to do in the next year, which is to study hard in school, follow the school rules, follow your home rules, making friends, having sleepovers, having fun, talking on the phone, having those really good 
times and making good grades so we can get to high school, college, and be a successful young lady. The next thing that you can do if you decide to ignore the hurtful words is to just after they've said something really ugly to you, just smile. Sometimes that hurts people back worse than you ever could if you said something ugly to them back. Just smile and say, okay, I hear you. I don't believe you. You don't have to say anything. Just don't believe them. Just smile and walk away. All of these things that I've told you that deals with those dealing with those hurtful words that people say can be accomplished by just training your brain. Train your brain and see what you can accomplish by maybe perhaps confronting them, telling someone, or just ignoring the ugly and hurtful words. Remember, two angry people can equal to bad, bad news. You're a star, you're a superstar. So you remember, remember never to let anyone push you down. You are special, you're beautiful, you're kind, and I want you to be a superstar every day. All right, girls, make sure you leave me a comment below and let me know some topics that you would like for me to talk about. Until then, have a great week at school, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.